Hello, Internet World. Techno Guy 3. And I'm going to make a video. Sorry, I've been sick, but I uh, don't know if you can notice my sicky voice. Um, but stop complaining, because I'm going to make a video now. Today, I'm going to be making a video on, no, not Windows Mobile, the Windows Phone 7 Series Marketplace. Good job making it simple, Microsoft. But in a market dominated with Apple's App Store and Google's Android market, uh, Microsoft has been really stressed to create something easy to use and original. Have they done that? Well, looking at this picture, the home screen for the marketplace, uh, they, haven't, they don't have an official name for it yet. It looks like any other, pretty much, just with a touch of Microsoft. Uh, we got the popular, new, here's the featured section, and they're all listed by genre, it appears. Uh, now, Microsoft is using deep linking, the feature that allows you to click on a link in a browser, and it'll take you to a page in a browser or an application, and you can buy or download whatever that, that link was linking to. Now everybody else uses that but I'm glad they incorporated that that's a nifty feature uh, just like just like the others Microsoft has a recommendation engine they claim to be very intelligent and that based on what you have and other people see or have downloaded sorry what ba based on what you and other people have downloaded and played uh, it can give you smart suggestions. So instead of just basing it off of what you have downloaded yourself, it also bases off of what other people have downloaded who have also gotten that particular app. So that, I think that's pretty cool. We'll see how that turns out. Now, everything is organized in the way you'd think it would be, um, i.e. if you wanted to search for new apps, you'd be presented with a list of apps in chrono chronological order. Uh, the popular tab, I guess, incorporates how all the recent reviews have been, etc. Now what about the money? Of course, every application marketplace is going to have to incorporate funds somehow, else it could not possibly be popular. Now, this is the one thing that I think is a bit more unique than others. They have really easy trial systems. Um, here by this picture you can see uh, we got the picture, the uh, how much it costs here, $3 for that app. I'd never pay for something stupid like Goose Flat. But um, ratings and the description and screenshot, it's kind of like how Apple has it laid out. Uh, but you do get the try button so it's basically you have a box that has a try me button on it so that's 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 pretty uh, different from what other people are doing uh, but but there is a but the developer chooses whether he wants his app time-based which I hate I hate time-based things because usually like I tend to not use it until like after the trial period runs out but yeah as you can see by the picture it's it, it works you know I don't think they've done anything really innovative with this but it works every app has the ability to be a live tile as Microsoft likes to call it the tiles allow you to see push notifications at a glance instead of like going to that app and seeing it but you can also launch the app with those live tiles now this takes up more space on the screen but hey it, it is pretty innovative all of your apps are organized by what they do in these hubs basically that you can access on your phone I think Microsoft also calls them hubs so I guess that's the correct term for it this is probably my favorite feature on the whole Windows Phone 7 experience. On my iPhone, nothing's organized. Like sure, you you can you can manage it. You can manually organize it. You can manage it with iTunes, but open up the stocks app. 
but it's still it's still pretty hard to get around. You have to find the app you're looking for usually. So yeah, Microsoft pretty much solved that problem with their hubs. Of course, they take up more screen real estate, however, more organized. Now, uh, before I end this video, I'd like to give you my opinion on Windows 7 Service Pack 1. You might have heard about that um, for a while now. Their, Microsoft is going to release Service Pack 1 pretty soon. So, here's my opinion on Windows 7 Service Pack 1. FAIL! Anyway, you can contact me at technoguy3 at ymail.com. My Twitter username is technoguy3 like everything else. I stream sometimes. Uh, you can find all the links in my channel description at youtube.com slash technoguy3. And, well, thanks for watching.